Hello everyone, it is I, Hanger T-Rex, and today we are going to be reviewing something special. Um, I believe this is a rare figure, but I'm going to be reviewing, you probably already saw it, the Jurassic Park Series 2 Utah Raptor. I in a, would never expect myself to ever get this. Uh, one, because this is a rare figure, I believe it is. Uh, two, whenever I look on eBay, they are pretty expensive. And um, yeah, it's just a really great figure, really is. Um, and a really, ah, uh, it's amazing. But yeah, but let's get right to review. So, this is the Series Two Utahraptor. I don't have any of its capture gear, uh, but it did came with capture gear. Now this is from series two. Uh, this animal has never been in any dress park film, but it has been in some dress park um, games and of course, merchandise. <laughs> and uh, they even released a second one, but they removed the electronics. And this was, I believe a Walmart exclusive. Um, and uh, it's basically the same thing as this, though the rubber is um, a lot less squishy. It's more solid. Um, still good figure though. Um, I do have that though. I, again, uh, I packed up my Kenner figures. So this is like the only one I got out that did not get uh, packed up. So yeah, but yeah, let's go over to this figure. So this figure. From uh, basically the head, the tail, and the neck, and the body, it's rubber. Uh, the only parts that are not are the arms. Um, I'd say the inside of the mouth, yeah. Yeah, the, the gums and the teeth are plastic. Um, the sickle claws and the feet, which something that's really cool about this, which I believe this is, yeah, this is the first Jurassic Park uh, raptor to have ever, well, drum me, sorry, to actually have articulating sickle claws. Uh, you can actually move both of the sickle claws on both sides. Um, really an awesome figure. Uh, but anyways, uh, there's something special with this figure. So if you pull these legs back, okay, uh, you set it in this position and it doesn't really stand well. <laughs> it just falls because it's, it's more top heavy. But with this animal, the length is really good. Um, Oh, God, it's a really beautiful animal. A little figure. Um, but, you know, when you pull those legs back, uh, you hear like a tick. You hear like a... And that's because they're locking into place because this actually has an action feature. If you look behind here... Um, actually, let's move it this way. Yes. Um, you see this part. I don't know what this is. Uh, but you can see there's like a smaller bump. If you click that, uh, you get something cool. When I heard the electronics, I was shocked. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. This toy, this figure is about 26 years old and the electronics still work. Um, I'll play it, uh, I'll push the button again. It could even make sound effects when it's not, uh, you know, when you don't have the legs, you know, back. But um, something that's really cool is that when you push the button, It's jaw actually opens. That's a really cool feature. Um, with mine, there is a tear um, right there, including some teeth are kind of chipped. But anyways, uh, I'll play the sound effect right now. Now, uh, about the sound effects, they actually come out through the mouth. Um, if I could get a photo here, if I could actually... Yeah, you see that? You see that hole? That is actually the um, the sound box uh, where the sound actually comes out of. And that's a really cool feature that it's in its mouth. Because, uh, of course, you won't hear the animal through like the bottom of here. With, when it roars, you would hear it from its mouth. Um, so that is really cool. Um, oh, gosh, so awesome. Uh, now, this figure, uh, this wasn't mine. Uh, none of my Kenner Dress Park figures are are um 
from my parents or our family. These were bought on eBay, so yeah. But um, yeah, the paint is kind of worn. Now, for some reason, on this side, this eye looks really good. But when you flip it over to this side, it's, uh, it's a little messed up. But yeah, oh god, just the paint job. I really hope that Kenner, I mean Mattel, does um, do um, do like kind of what Hasbro did because for Hasbro for the I think the yeah for the fortieth anniversary of Return of the of the no Empire Strikes Back, um, they actually released the Kenner Star Wars figures, uh, but with better paint jobs, and I hope that. Mattel does do that for like a 30th anniversary for Jurassic Park, even for the Lost World. Uh, but yeah, and maybe they'll do well, not Jurassic Park 3, <laughs> just only for Kenner. We, we don't we don't talk about Hasbro's uh, Jurassic Park, so yeah. But anyways, you know, when you move the tail, uh, there's no wire inside. Um, this is a really a great figure. Um, the arms, they don't move all the way around. You kind of do um, a lot more than uh, 180 degrees. So yeah, the legs, they don't have any articulation. You can only pull them back and that's all. The circle claws, you know, they just move down and up. So yeah, they can actually move pretty up, really up. So yeah, but yeah, um, if I'm going to have to rate this figure, I would definitely have to give it um, an eight, an eight and a half out of 10. The figure is great. Uh, love it. It really is one of the best. I'll give give a better close up of it, which this is actually number twenty two. Really good. So yeah. Um. The oh God, just this figure is so awesome. Glad that uh this figure wasn't as it 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 does actually have some a little bit of dust on it. Um. So I'm gonna have to watch a Matthew Banna a video of how to clean it. Um. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't as dirty as his Matthew Brando's. Oh, man, his was really dirty. Uh, but, yeah, but if any of you guys have any Jurassic Park Kenner figures and they're really dirty, I uh, definitely recommend to watch Jurassic, uh, no, Matthew Brando's, uh, channel of How to Clean. Just look up, uh, How to Clean Kenner Jurassic Park figures and then you'll find it. Uh, so, yeah, I even cleaned some of mine, uh, because when I got them, there was, like, some dirt and dust on them. These people on eBay don't really take care of these, which is pretty disappointing because, you know, you would think that you would clean it, you know, but, uh, yeah. But anyways, um, I'll actually cut to, um, the size comparison. So, uh, yeah, see you there. All right, guys. Uh, here it is compared to the Matilla Brachysaur. <laughs> uh, I need to get a frame for this poster. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so the Utah Raptor, when it is standing like that, it can't stand its own. So it's actually, um, using the Brachiosaurus to actually help it. Uh, so, yeah, so this Brachiosaurus is three and a quarter inch scale. Well, this is more of a, this is a four inch scale. Um, so, but the size is, uh, not accurate. <laughs> it, it would be, the Utah Raptor would be basically about the height, of, I think, like, it was six feet tall, I think maybe even seven. I don't know. But yeah, but anyways, uh um next figure. Alright guys, here it is in scale with my favorite Mattel uh T-Rex. Uh Alan Grant and uh the jungle well Jeep Jeep Explorer. So um this is uh four inch scale, this is three and three quarter inch scale, not accurate. Um again with this dinosaur. This is not really a dinosaur. It's more of a hybrid. So if this wasn't three and three quarter inch scale, um, it wouldn't be accurate as well. It'll be around the height of this figure, uh, maybe a little bit taller. So yeah, but yeah, again, next to the T-Rex. Uh, but uh, yeah, I do hope that um, uh, Mattel does make more legacy uh, dress park uh figures including jeeps and to give us a legit play set uh, and even more uh legacy dinosaurs and make them rubber like the mosasaur which let's get right into that figure Alrighty, uh here it is next to the mosasaur and uh raptor blue uh yeah um 
This guitar, this, uh, oh, said YouTuber, dear God, this guitar, uh, it's like the size of the in indoor after, so it would be a lot smaller, probably be around this size, maybe a little longer and a little bit taller, but, uh, yeah, um, it's so good. I love this guitar after so much. Uh, also, one more, uh, scale, which will be there right now. Alrighty. Here's my Utah Raptor in scale with uh, my sister's guinea pig. Aww. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my video reviewing the Utah Raptor. And uh, hey, if you're new, then uh, consider to like and subscribe. I'm desperate. <laughs> I mean it. Uh, it's your choice, of course. Uh, if you guys liked it, then comment below, if, you know, how you... Uh, um, like this huge character, what you don't like about it, that's fine. Uh, and if any of you guys have any ideas for any figures, uh, for me to review, then consider to just ask me if, if I could review it. Um, I can't review, uh, any other Kenner figures because they're all, uh, in a storage unit because I'm going to be moving soon. But, uh, yeah, um, I probably need to take this off because I may have guinea pig hair. That was a really, um... I should have done that. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I uh, hope you all have a great day. And as always, stay angry.